Hi everyone, welcome back to my shop. I'm here to do my November What is Your Love Story 2017 reading, general reading. I will put a link to it below. And I am going to be using What Needs to Be Surrendered deck to, to get an opening message for everyone. And I'm also going to be using the Sacred Travelers deck that I just got, which I love it. And this is the booklet, and I will be pulling the card from here. And then I'll be using... I think I'm going to be using a goddess deck to do this reading. I swear there's drawing me to. I've been questioning that guidance, but you know how that goes. It says, surrender to inner peace. Um, so there is a lot of peace coming in November, and this is an I want to have to surrender to, right? Because sometimes I feel like with the messages here, it says, cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet, meditative moments, focus on stillness within and enjoy the inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. So it's important to do what is good for you first and foremost and others will feel that energy. Do what makes you peaceful for yourself um, because if you are trying to appease everyone else, it doesn't, you know, isn't going to work and other people, your partner is going to feel that energy. So your partner is really wanting you to be peaceful and at peace. And the best way to do that is to honor what it, what it is that takes that for you. So if you need time alone, take that time alone. Um, if there's something that you enjoy doing, take the time to do that. And so you can be in that peaceful place. Also, the message I'm getting from this is that sometimes we become comfortable in drama. We can become comfortable to the stresses of daily life and to things not working in relationship. We can become... It can go on for so long or we can have so many fears around it. We'd be comfortable in that drama spot. And so things are shifting. Things are coming into alignment. I'm just getting some more intense going here. Um, things are coming into alignment. Things are shifting. Things are healing. And so it's going to feel different because we may be used to striving. We may be used to difficulties. We may be used to it not working. And now like all of a sudden the energy is shifting and changing. For a lot I'm finding and things are coming into alignment so it's time now to surrender to that peaceful feeling is that peaceful easy feeling right <laughs> is that like the song I think that's the Eagles uh, so surrendering into that energy is going to be important let's see what the sacred traveler oracle cards have for us for November for November and I'm focusing on everyone and the law of attraction um, and I felt this one was talking to me and surrendering to the journey to the journey itself and it says release control. Oh, and I love this one because it has like the little owl. Kind of feels like the hermit. It feels quiet and still too because of the little lantern leading the way. It feels hermit like to me. It feels six of swords like to me. And it feels high priestess to me. Um, it feels all these because of the symbolism on the card. So any of those energies could be applying for those um, as a general reading for the month of November too. So that's quite a mixture. Um... But allowing yourself to be guided to a better space um, and like in, in kind of with that inner knowing. Uh, so let's see what the booklet says, surrendering to a journey. So interestingly, we're using surrender cards. Surrender, surrender, surrendering, surrender is coming up. So there's a lot of that going on in, no in November. Um, I'm going to take a peek here at the booklet and read a little bit from here. says it's time to let go all is well this is sort of the same kind of message here the creator is at your side you don't have to do it alone your life is guided this is not the time to try to control the details of your life let it flow there are times to hold on but this is the time to completely surrender surrender to the greater forces of the universe let go of wanting to control your future or simply tune into the ch your challenges over simply turn your challenges over to the spiritual source to your spiritual source the creator will escort you on your journey and the sacred traveler wants you to know surrendering is not giving up you're not yielding to a force outside of yourself you're opening to your soul to your soul by releasing hold, you allow the creative forces of the universe to spiral through you, which brings in inspiration and direction into your life. Sometimes the journey goes a different way than expected. When it does, don't resist. There are times you can see the path, and but you don't know, 
you don't need to know where it leads. Not knowing where you're going can activate inspiration, insight, and creative juices. You cannot discover new oceans and distant vistas unless you have the courage to let go of the shore. So that's beautiful. You don't have to do it all yourself. Support is all around you. You simply open your heart and allow it in. So a bit of letting go is necessary. As you can see, you are fully supported here on this boat and there is a guiding light pulling you forward. So all those energies are coming up and it's leading to this inner peace that may feel new. I mean, it's new. It's a new feeling for some, you know, Hey, there's no problems here. There's, this is, this is working, you know, like, Oh my gosh, all of a sudden, wow, this is easy. This feels good. Oh my heavens. You know what's happening. <laughs> so that can be an odd feeling for some, you know, they haven't experienced that for quite a while. And so it's, it's a, it's a, an adjustment and a getting used to that feeling as well. I feel is a big message coming. So we're going to take a peek with this deck. Now, you know, it's, I questioned and they're insistent that I'm using this deck. Um, I was guided to it earlier in a private reading and it came out beautifully. So I'm trusting, um, as we do, and, you know, we need to trust on our journey that this is the appropriate guidance. So it's not, a, it's not a deck that I myself did to, oh yeah, I'm going to do my November love story with that deck. I'm going to get a couple of my rainbow rain cards as oracles out for us as well. And I haven't listed this deck yet on my Etsy page, but it's one that I created and it is called the rainbow rain. I will put a link. I'm going to list it on my, my page and I will put a link to it below. So for November, I'm going to just pull a few here. You can see what the rainbow rain has to say. And it says creative ideas are coming. So a lot of you know, that was, that was another message in that, that it was talking about that when we let go of the control and we don't know where we're going all the time and we don't have to know, then that leaves room for inspiration and creativity. So there is something beautiful coming. Um, wow. It's so appropriate. Soulmates. Love. Just like I said, alignment. Your heads are now together and it's forming love. It's forming heart. So a lot of beautiful home oh, and strength. The lion energy would be Leo, and that would be a fire sign, and we are entering Sag on November 21st. So I feel this is also marking something beautiful coming with soulmates and things coming into alignment. More right around Sagittarius time frame is what I'm getting from this message intuitively. So let's see what spirit has for us outside of that with this deck, which we'll see where we go. Who are you in your love story, or what energy surrounds you in your love story at this time? <clears throat> And it is Damara, and Damara, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, <clears throat> guiding children. You are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. <clears throat> so this can be very much you are involved with family, in a, either in the role of child, which means you are helping parents, or you could be in that generation where you're in between, where you're helping and caring for and raising your own children and helping your parents um, or it can just be that you are a parent helping your child so it can be any or all of those and it can also be if you're not a parent and you're not dealing with with a parent as a child this can also be talking to me this card represents the six of cups it represents nostalgia childhood um, the energies of innocence and newness so all these energies can apply in one way or another to you as a general reading so you can take that as it is an, is applying to you because I'm sure in one of those energies it will befall on you. Um, so that is who you are and what you're dealing with and surrounding you and your love story at this time. Where your partner stands in this love story in November, what is their character? How are they behaving? Endings and beginnings. And I see that eclipse energy, those very powerful eclipses that have been very powerful in in relationships, um, in, in pulling in change and a catalyst for change. And it says the old must be released so that the new can enter. So they're in the center of that energy. They're in the midst of, you know, realigning their energies for you know, letting go of the past 
and clearing up things from the past and releasing things from the past and in the same time focusing on the future so there's it feels to me like an in-between they're neither in the past nor com completely in the past or completely in in the new beginning so they're in that middle ground sort of like that kind of felt with parents and children it's like being being on both ends of it you know as the parent or as the child um, and kind of dealing with family issues I feel a lot this is talking about and this is really working on releasing the past and focusing on new beginnings and what's that going to look like and how is that going to feel and what you know how is it going to be shaped and formed and so really bringing things into a plan so they're in between releasing things from their past whether that be relationships jobs um, homes any of the, any of these things but they're not completely yet in that new beginning and that's how they are right now and it can even be how they related to you in relationship in the past we are looking at this as a relationship and focusing how things are going to look in the future because I see the third eye open here so they have a real vision um, of how they want the relationship to look and where things are going so they're really projecting um, a future in regards to the relationship as well which is very beautiful to see what or who is blocking you from moving to the next chapter in your love story and it is ISIL, undying love. The love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. So I don't really see this as a block. Um, this is a card that indicates that they're really, the blocks are dissolving now and things are coming into alignment. Um, the only thing that could possibly be a block is you not, re you know, really coming into the full realization. Um, because it says regardless of the situation um, of the undying love but this to me feels like the blocks are dissolving and there is not a block there's no blockages anymore so it's it's you not really realizing it because um, you know outside of the situation you're really not grasping the energies fully but they are saying to me that the blocks are being removed and right now there is tr truly no block undying love un unconditional love eternal love um, there is no blockages in that for me um, the previous chapter of your love story what led up to now unconditional love <laughs> this is beautiful so you may have had a, um, an interaction in your relationship and it says love yourself others in every situation no matter what the outward appearance may be again it's talking about what the outward appearance may be so it's loving through whatever is happening you know um, not everything's always going to be good and it's easy to love when things are going right and it's 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 a little bit more difficult it's a little more challenging when things are not going the way you want them to be or people are not acting or behaving the way you want them to be so in the recent past you've had something occur where you love through one of those situations um and you may also have had a connection where you felt the unconditional love and you felt that connection in those energies where you are in your love story present chapter and it's the arts express yourself through creative art activities so this is definitely the sacral chakra <laughs> this is creativity this is expression and expressing our creativity which is screaming you know sacral chakra so for some this can be sexuality um straight out so you could be having you know <laughs> a lot a lot of interaction physical interaction um, finding creative ways to express yourself verbally or you know physically but it's really talking a lot of, to me about the sacral chakra in regards to so there's a lot of intimacy either verbally or physically coming up for me with this card and that's where you're at and you're working through those energies so that's becoming more more intimate and becoming comfortable in that so it's getting closer it's getting more intimate and it's it's looking at those energies um, and that can feel a little bit unsettling and different too when, when you've been working on other things and, and now it's coming down to being more intimate and being and it doesn't necessarily mean physical because you don't have to be physical to be intimate but it's getting to that and so for some it's going to be coming up as a physical you know the sexuality and for others it's going to be a verbal intimacy but it's definitely that 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 energy that sacral chakra intimacy for me with this the next chapter in your love story if you can move past the block in number three and it's balance it's fairness smart which is beautiful and 
there really wasn't a lot of block for me in number three. You know, undying love is not much of a block, is it? <laughs> um, other than the situation, how the situation appears. So it's really looking at um, that inner knowing that that if the situation isn't what you want, that's an illusion when we have that eternal love. So that would be the block. You know, you're not seeing that, the truth of that. But here is the truth. Here is the balance that you will move to um, in the next chapter. And it says... The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So it's coming, things coming into balance. Um, it is, and for some, this can also be true legalities. It can be marriages. It can be, you know, legal marriages. But it can also be dissolving them and other relationships to be able to move forward. And this can also be, you know, legal contracts with jobs, you know, getting a new job and signing on a contract for employment. It can be purchasing a new home. So this can actually show up in physical ways as well. But as an energy, it's showing up as a balance, as a coming together, as an alignment, like we were seeing. Um, so the next one is, um, that one was the next chapter. And this one is the end of the love story for November. And it's just for November. And a beautiful way to end this reading. And it is Bright Future, Lakshmi. And it's very nice. And it says, stop worrying, everything is going to be fine. So by the end of November, you're going to be more in this sunnier energy, this brighter energy of um, not maybe not worrying quite so much because we started out, we're kind of ending where we started, right? With surrender to that inner peace because it's coming. And like I said, for some, you know, this is going to feel different because, you know, it hasn't been in such alignment. It hasn't been in that because we're seeing the blocks dissolving here and we're seeing things working and coming into balance and coming closer and more into this in intimate energy um, however that's playing out for you or however it will play out for you. So I hope everyone has enjoyed this reading. And remember, I think I saw right around the Sage 29th, 21st with these three and the soulmates. So we're going to end again where we began with the coming together, the alignment. And I think it's going to be for some, it's going to be later in November. Um, not to say that it can't happen before that, but I'm just getting that time frame. And so those creative ideas are kind of funny. That creative idea, again, it's that sacral chakra. It's that intimacy. And we had those colors here in the beginning as well. So I hope everyone has enjoyed the reading. And I hope you have a blessed November and holiday season. And I will talk to you soon. Angel blessings, oceans of love.